So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on N on your keyboard. Now you want to find NVIDIA Display Container LS. Here it is, you're gonna double click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure that you have the startup type on automatic and then click on start, which will now make the service status running and then click on OK. And now you're gonna click on restart. You wanna restart the service. In my case, I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna mess up my recording. But in your case, you wanna click on restart. Once that's been restarted, see if that works for you. If that's still not working, then for the next method, you wanna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description to download the NVIDIA app. Now, once you're on this, you wanna click on download now and you want to download and install the NVIDIA app to your computer. And now once you're on the NVIDIA app, you wanna click on the driver tab. Now you wanna click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date through the app. See if that works for you. If that's still not working, then for the last method, you wanna head over to search and type in add room with programs. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna scroll down till we find NVIDIA control panel. Here it is. Now once you find this, you wanna click on the three dots and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall again. You want to uninstall the NVIDIA control panel. And then once you uninstall the NVIDIA control panel, you wanna head over to search again and type in Microsoft Store. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna search for NVIDIA control panel. Click on it. And now you just wanna re-download it again and then this should not fix your problem. 